Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Tim coming at you with a first impressions of Minecraft Dungeons. Uh, my son and I actually got to play this um, recently, last couple days since it came out. Uh, we purchased it our ourselves. And uh, Justin thought, hey, asked me if, hey, are you guys picking this up? If you can, tell people all about it. So here you go. <laughs> I thought it was a good idea. So, uh, but basically, um, I was recording us doing a multiplayer session here and it it took a minute to get us connected because we were using uh, Microsoft's uh, connection, uh, not necessarily Nintendo's connection. So I had to go into Sammy's profile and connect his uh, our, my Microsoft family account and his profile there uh, to his Nintendo account and I did the same there. Now we kind of did that before with Minecraft itself. So we were kind of familiar with that before, but we were able to get it done right, and get to play multiplayer. And here you can see we got to uh, go in his map. He invited me to his session and we got to pick uh, if we wanted to be easy or normal or hard uh, playthrough. And Sammy asked if we just play easy mode, so that's what we we're doing. It says normal difficulty, but it looks like it's towards the easy side if you look under the chart. But basically, I go in, I select, I'm ready to go, and then he's got to select everything since, it's, since he invited me over to his map. And he unlocked more on his map than I did on mine, so it worked out. But he, he wanted to go to the Soggy Swamp because he said he had a hard time with that one. So with that, we got to play um, this one. We actually played beforehand. Uh, we did the, I did a tutorial, he did a tutorial, and obviously he played on his own and got through some maps, opened up some maps. So And then we played one of the maps, uh, one of the sections of the map together yesterday or the, before this session. So we had a lot of fun, we had some practice, we got some things out of the way and got to learn the game a little bit better. So one of the things we got to do during this playthrough is get to learn the game a little bit more. And one of the things that we did was, or while I was, before we got going, um, I asked Sam, I said, hey, before we get going, let's make sure we take care of our weapons. Because one of the things you can do is place what you've collected in, say, previous loot, um, loots uh, or dungeon crawls and upgrade them with enchantments and um, be able to use the right equipment. So we... Of course, we only played one section, so we only had a few things. He's got a lot, he actually got a lot more than I did. And I think if you look at him, he's got the wolf outfit on him. And I just have this outfit. Um, one of the things I did here too is I salvaged one of the weapons I wasn't using because I can use some of the enchantments that, I, that were already put on it. Um, so I was able to use that to my advantage. And you'll see that later on too, that I'll do that with a lot of my weapons that I picked up. I'll salvage it and put it towards making my weapon more powerful. While I'm finishing this up here, I'll mention that also this game is made for up to four players. And if you didn't notice at the beginning, uh, I'll mention this, that you can connect with friends. And just like Sammy did for me, we were playing online and not necessarily local play. Um, and he's, he invited me to his map. So that's one cool thing that, that I thought not a lot of games or it doesn't seem like games are that easy to get people to play with online with, and you can make it, you can ramp up the difficultness, uh, to the game so it can get it more challenging for you and your group. Oh, and here you can put on costumes. I don't know if you noticed this too. Uh, but that's where he's got his wolf outfit there. You can see on him. And for me, I just have a cape. And you can also get a companion, which I picked a little, uh, little fox to go with me. Um, but yeah, back to the multiplayer. It's up to four players. You can pick up, invite up to four people to play, and which I thought was really cool. Here is uh, kind of showing Sammy. He's doing more of the 
kind of run and gun or I guess tank if you will. He just kind of jumps in. And me, I'm just doing more ranged weapons. So I'm taking people out with, or, and monsters out with my bow and arrow. And here's an example of some of the loot that gets dropped that you can pick up. It is heavy on the Minecraft element, obviously. So uh, you're going to see a lot of the familiar things if you play with Minecraft before. Which is really cool, because Sammy's loving it. Uh, and I, this is a lot of fun, and being able to switch the difficultiness, uh, difficultness of the game um, helps a lot too, because it made it more comfortable for him, and I was able to kind of get to know the game a little bit better too, just keeping it on a normal. You can also see the objectives in the upper right hand corner there, destroy brews two of five. That's We've been following that objective, and Sam was killing it basically. He's been he was finding all the the brews to destroy while I was taking out enemies and he was doing the same Because uh, I don't I don't remember seeing any and even as I watched this I didn't like okay I don't think I destroyed any brews. I think Ken, uh, Sammy was doing it all <laughs> But I definitely like the bow and arrow as my weapon of choice because I could sit back while he was jumping in Destroying enemies, I could jump in and shoot them. This aspect shows how when Sam died while going in there and attacking them, but you can revive them. So there is, I got next to him and I can hit A. If nobody's attacking and disrupting me, I can revive him and he can use a potion to add more health. I'm sure it gets a lot more difficult once uh, more people or or you ramp up the difficultness. So at this point, we actually enter a dungeon. As you saw before, we were actually in a swamp, which is outdoors. In this dungeon, though, Sammy warned me that this is where you run into an Enderman. So I was like, oh, cool. So. Um, this is where I need to use one of my abilities. So this is where I use the Y button to shoot one of my rockets. Which destroyed the Enderman. Which Sammy was very happy with because he said this is where he died. When he did try to do it by himself. I believe this is the point he said this is where he died. But yeah, as you can see at the bottom there at the menu. That is where you have some of the abilities that you can use by either hitting Y, X, or B. Which would be familiar with a lot of Zelda people. Uh, or players. Uh, and then you also have the L button and R button to do certain things. And then you can look at the map by pressing down or pressing up on the D-pad to access your other items. Uh, or to um, add enchantments and change your weapons and all that kind of stuff. So here I'm again trying to sh use my arrows and Sammy's just diving in after the Enderman. So. So now we're both going after the Enderman here and trying to complete our mission. And I'm getting close to dying, it looks like, right? So we just need to get that Enderman dead. Thankfully we did. <laughs> and then I think we're, he's looking at his potion to heal us both. Or I'm waiting for mine. That's right, I'm waiting for mine to reload. And there we are, we're nice and healed. So, basically, um, yeah, this game is pretty fun. We're both wanting to play more. Um, it's during the week, so it's a little bit harder, but he's constantly asking, can we play, can we play? So, and what I read on how long to beat so far and since it's a new game not many entries were put in but so far it says that the main story is only about five hours long but uh for completionist it could take up to 20 to 30 hours so but again this is a new game so i don't know how many people have been putting in that information to give us a correct average but i had a lot of fun playing with sam and i think this is a great game especially for uh, first time gamers, uh, 
dungeon crawlers, Diablos, you know, people who've maybe played Diablo, maybe get bored with this or could have fun with it if they're trying to teach your kids how to play a Diablo type loot uh, game. So uh, especially the customization is fun. I enjoyed that. I didn't play a lot of Diablo, so I don't know how much of this is similar to that. Even though I have that on my shelf, I still haven't played it. This is one of my favorite things that I saw in this playthrough that was my favorite. Where I just stood on a ledge and started picking people off for Sam, while Sam was down there going after a couple people. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. I had fun with that. Again, we're trying to find the, all the cauldrons. And then at this point, I believe this is where we get towards the end and need to destroy the cauldron. We find it and now need to destroy it. Or smash the cauldron. Almost there, we got it. And I killed myself. <laughs> I was trying to go after the loot and I died. But thankfully he, he was able to revive me and I was able to get that weapon there that's hanging out there. So, but yeah, we had a lot of fun with that. And uh, we dove right into changing our weapons and things like that too. Uh, but finished the game, essentially. Before, before nightfall in the game too, because that's when all the bad, more bad guys come out. But victory! So once you finish the level, you get to see the stats and you get to open up another loot box. As you can see there, you got the A button to hit to open that up. Um. But again, just Sammy and I have a lot of fun with this. I'm having a lot of fun with this and he seemed to have fun with it by himself too. So although he did say he died in a couple areas and needed my help and that's where I think more people come to help, you probably will ramp up the difficultness. So here I got to um, open up my loot box and got a soul healer and can add it um, to my equipment which you can do at the camp which we're at here and so after pressing up on the d-pad i get to open up my equipment and i can add on our swap equipment as you've probably seen throughout the video and as i mentioned earlier too you can salvage the things you're not using and use that to make your weapons more powerful. While I'm going through this, or while my past self is going through this, I'll just mention a couple things about Minecraft that may help you in your decision on whether to pick this game up for yourself or your family. Um, Sammy and I were actually going to purchase the $20 base game, but when I went to go purchase it, I found out they have a Hero Edition, which is $30 in the eShop. And the Hero Edition is, includes the base game, a Hero Cape, which you saw me wear and pick in this during the video, two player skins, uh, which was part of the DLC, which I think I'm wearing one of those, and also two uh, DLC packs, which are coming soon, and the chicken pet. Now I picked the Arctic Fox, but there is a chicken pet as well. So that was that was a lot of fun to get that. I figured, ah, oh, what the heck, you know, ten dollars more for some DLC as well, and it looked like a lot of fun, which turned out to be uh, it was well worth thirty dollars. So for two copies, again, we paid for it ourselves. There's no code here. Two games for the price of what we normally pay for a Nintendo game, sixty bucks. I thought wasn't too bad, especially for us to be able to play on two different switches. 
So take it as as you will and your decision and what you want to do. But uh, you may not even need all that stuff. You could probably just add on the DLC later. So 20 bucks a piece is still isn't bad. The other information about the game that uh, is probably helpful to you to know is that this is everyone 10 plus in the United States, the SRB rating for fantasy and violence and user interactions because you are going online. Game file size is 3.2 gigabytes. And it, again, up to four players can play. Well, that will do it for this playthrough, this first impressions, um, this let's play of Minecraft Dungeons. Hope you got to enjoy and get to uh, enjoy watching Sammy and I play and can make a decision on what you're going to do with this game. Again, this is Tim signing off. Check you later.